Welcome to this new peek at the future. Today we're looking at the Sunderer Cloak Unit. So there's a bunch of changes, just wanted to rush this one out so you guys could see how things were looking so far. So when I checked, there was no unique cosmetic item for the top of the Sunderer. And as you can see, all you do is you deploy it, and then bang, a 10 meter radius bubble appears. And it's a hemisphere as well, it's not a full sphere. And if you're inside that bubble, you too become cloaked. But this is what happens if the Sunderer takes damage, the cloak dies, and then it comes back again. So some of the stuff you've already seen on that official video that came out as well. If you are on the Sunderer gun and you fire, a bit like being infantry on the ground, you uncloak temporarily, and then after a couple of seconds, you then recloak again. I can see that Sundra had taken damage and was smoking, but if you cloak, that smoke disappears as well. So you don't see random smokestacks coming up from burning Sunderers if they have a SU shield. One of the potential side effects isn't so much the cloak Sunderer, it's the fact that there's this bubble of cloak effect around them. You might get a situation where deploying Sunderers allows people to have tactical advantage inside of buildings. As you can see here, I'm inside a building and I can sit with a cloak on. Now from that distance, you're probably gonna notice that the cloak's there, no doubt. But in a quick firefight, I would give the advantage to the guy who is cloaked, frankly. I would point out as well that it is quite difficult to get a headshot when the world is distorting like that, like it is when you look through a field. It's not easy, but I think you could perhaps get some interesting strategies. This next issue is one of distance. I don't know if it's a level of detail thing, or it's an object culling thing, or I'm not too sure, but at a set distance, you really can't see the effect of the bubble at all. Now, clearly that's a friendly thunder we're looking at. So even at a distance, you can see that it's glowing the faction color. But if that's an enemy thunderer, as we'll see later on, it becomes a whole other ball game. So you can see 50 meters, it's starting to be a little bit difficult to see that bubble effect, especially with this dust on Indar. But what are we up there, 80 meters? You can still see a ripple to the environment through that bubble. Whether or not you'd spot that just by looking quickly, I'm not sure. You may see the actual Sunderer at that point, I guess. This is us on low settings now. What are we at? 70 meters now? And you can still see, that's a 4 times scope. You can still clearly see there's a, a ripple to the environment. That's at 85, 87, 90 meters. That's at 100 meters now. This is on low. Everything's on low. And I can't see any ripple at all in that background there. So that's just 100 meters away. So if that Sundra was behind a rock or some other building, you're not going to see that effect. And what's more, you may not see anyone stood inside of that cloak bubble as well. So imagine that Sundra was next to that building behind. You may not see someone stood in that doorway. So here we are with a 10 times scope. And I can't see any ripple effect at all, really. That's at 100 meters. So we start walking in, and quite often you'll get like a kind of pop. where the geometry of the actual bubble changes and then all of a sudden you can see that bubble effect. There you go. And then all of a sudden now you can see that bubble effect. 86 meters, 85 meters. So this is a quick look at what it's like on PTS if you've never been. Most people don't shoot on sight. Generally need someone of another faction 
to, you know, pull vehicles or whatever. So basically, I've just said, do you want to test these Sunderers? And he's like, yeah, I've got one deployed over here. So as we're running along, just see if you can see where that Sunderer is before he shows us. Where's the Sunderer? Do you see it? Can you see the Sunderer? Can you see the Sunderer? And there's a little shimmer there, and then, oh, hello, there's a massive bubble. And you can see there's a clear deployed Sunderer right there. As soon as we walk next to it, we're invisible as well. Now, to me, if we weren't looking in this direction and running this direction, I wonder how close I would have got to that and not noticed. I set a waypoint just to... just to check how far I am so I can do some tests. And you can see the actual waypoint effect also becomes refracted through that, that bubble ripple. And this is what it's like when you have an enemy running in and out of the bubble. It's kind of just like an infiltrator, between cloaked and, and uncloaked. And if you spot them as well, and then they run inside the bubble, they become cloaked as well. But as soon as they fire, they uncloak again, and then after a couple of seconds, they recloak. I would point out that some of this is subject to change as well. So obviously some of these behaviours may change due to PTS testing. Actually, at this point, I'm suddenly aware of the fact that there are, in fact, two enemies here. I didn't notice the second guy at all. And where that waypoint is, in the distance, at 100 meters, that is where their enemy Sunderer was. And at 100 meters, I cannot tell that that is there. I mean, I'm staring now. I could not tell that there was a Sunderer there at 100 meters. So I'd say this is a really interesting addition to the game. Uh, I know a lot of Planetside 1 players are... Happy to see it back, but I must say that I wonder if there's going to be some sort of counter-weapon to this as well. I'd also point out that, of course, when you fire and you're inside the bubble, you lose your cloak. But that seems to apply to dropping ammo packs as well. I don't know if that's intended behaviour, or it just counts as firing something, or doing an action or something. So here's me with a rocket launcher, just trying to find... And you can just about see the ripple of the bubble in the background. So that's not so bad. Fire rocket, hit it, and of course it uncloaks. So I guess we're at about 100 meters now. And I'm starting to not really be able to see the effect of that bubble. So I'm kind of firing based on memory for where that is now. And this is what happens if you stack two opposing sunders next to each other. So as you can see, it's quite a combined effect if you get two Sunderers deployed next to each other. Although, arguably, that's not going to happen in actual gameplay, because, of course, you can't deploy Sunderers that close anyway. But here we go, let's have another look at this strategy I was talking about. So if you park that close to this building, that's like one of those common buildings that you see all over, you can see that I'm now cloaked and stood inside that building. Now, hitting those guys at long distance is going to be tough because obviously it's wavy in front of me. But from a few meters away, unless I'm looking directly in that window, I wonder whether or not I'm going to spot someone who's stood waiting in that window. Normal black lights do work as well. You can see that it's easy to light up enemies. However, when you get inside that bubble, you become cloaked as well, and then the black lights no longer work. So you've got a slightly weird situation where when you're right next to the Sunderer, it's quite hard to tell where everyone is. So that feeling of being next to a Sunderer, hearing a clicker activate their shield, and then that kind of mad rush around to try and find where they are, or that feeling of you just heard a, a light assault come past and you're kind of trying to figure out where they are, this may become really quite hectic. Because of course anyone running up now becomes invisible until they say drop C4 or plant mines or whatever. We move on to abandoned NS officers and you can see from here if you deploy it at that southerly edge of the base that bubble extends almost to the edge of the building and you can actually sit inside the bubble and watch a point. Again that's probably going to be easy to see where that bubble is but you're going to see the enemy before they see you eastern side of the base, and again, 
it extends into the building here. So you can watch people coming through that that door. Or perhaps more interestingly, you can actually watch the spawn room door. Quite long range, so it's going to be difficult to make precise headshots. So here we go, this is obviously a friendly base at this point. So we can deploy our Sunderer almost on top of A point. And if we drop below that bubble's hemisphere, obviously you appear again. I think one of the changes that I'd like to see, I don't know if it's practically possible, but that when you're inside the cloaking bubble, if you could see all the infantry and the Sunderer as well, so that once you walked inside, it all appeared to you. I mean, it was still obscured for everyone outside, but you inside, you could see everything that was going on. I think that would make things a lot more manageable. At the moment, things are a little bit... I don't know. Things feel a little bit too obscure. I don't know if you want to go as far as keep it the way it is, so that you're cloaked when you go inside, but that enemies don't get cloaked. Maybe having that uh, effect not apply to enemies makes things a bit more defendable. But just then, you can see that enemy comes up to the Sunderer. I can see that they're cloaked, I can see that they're running around inside. But I now lose track of them. And then when I, I bring out my dark light to try and find them, I'm now just looking around. But as soon as I go back inside the bubble again, the dark light turns off, and I can't track them again. So it's quite sort of interesting, the ideas and possibilities that this can actually bring to planet side. I'm actually quite excited about this. I'm not 100% sold on all of it. It may be a little bit chaotic when it's first implemented, and we see how it scales up. But I'm interested to see how this changes things. Maybe we could do with some sort of large-scale EMP weapon that tanks or flashes or whatever can pepper around to try and flush out hidden sunderers. I don't know. But if you have any strong feelings about this, if you like it, if you don't, just leave a comment in the comment section below. I'd love to know what you think about this. Anyway, thank you very much for watching this peek at the future. I know it's strange not to do multiple features, and I know there are more things going on PTS than this cloak shield, but because so many people are talking about it, I just wanted to get this out quickly so that you could have a look. I'll be looking at the rest of the changes. I believe some of the Galaxy stuff has gone up as well. I might need some help finding some pilots to, to check what that's like. But I'll be looking at everything else as well, rest assured. So thank you very much again for watching, and I'll see you next time. Take care.